Hi guys, it's Olga Heldwein here with new tutorial. So today I have really easy cards that I made for my friends that I met lately. Lately I have been gone a lot and I'm meeting a lot of my creative friends and sometimes I want to have something for them. And I thought that uh, artsy cards will be perfect solution. They are really quick and easy to make, uh, except coloring part, of course, because it takes me ages. I'm using here stamp from Stample Bar. It's my local store. It's my favorite local store ever. They are super, super nice. Uh, they carry a lot of things, mostly for stamping, uh, but also a lot of mixed media products and they make their own stamps. And the stamp that I use is their own stamp and I thought that those artsy tool will be perfect for artsy cards for my artsy friends. To color in my images, I'm using polychromos pencils. Uh, it, it, my, it is my love. <laughs> I fell in love with uh, colored pencils not so far ago. Um, first I was starting with a basic color with alcohol markers, but right now I'm so confident with crayons that I'm just skipping the base color. I'm going from lightest to darkest and then to lightest again. Uh, I'm starting in my darkest areas of my image with my lightest color, then I'm going with the darkest and then I'm just blending all with the middle tone or my lightest color. They blend amazingly, especially on good quality paper. And for coloring, I'm using different kinds of cardstock. I don't remember which one I used here because actually I made those cards a little while ago. Uh, I know that I was absent on YouTube for a really long time, um, but it was really, really busy with a lot of uh, classes, a lot of trips. Um, and right now I'm settled in again with my uh, new schedule and I'm hoping to come back to YouTube and still make some Halloween videos because it's my favorite holiday and I have so many ideas. Yeah, so back to the cards. Uh, I colored like six, seven, seven sets of those tools and each one of them I tried to keep in a little bit different colors except of the pencils. They all have this pink rubber end because I think that it looks just adorable. So, for the background, I thought that if I'm making a whole set of cards, uh, it would be cool to create background from one piece. I didn't have big one piece, so I layered up six Distress Watercolor cards and I start to smooshing with acetate some uh, watercolors and Distress Oxides. For yellow, I use 30 knots uh, watercolor because I don't have such a vib vibrant yellow in oxides and I have to refill that. By the way, today I will visit Stemple Bar again <laughs> and probably I will buy some yellows now when I remember the time missing uh, this shade. So I'm just stamping my colors. I'm trying not to mix them very much. I mean, I don't mind if they mix a little bit, but I still don't want to have like full rainbow with a nice transition. I want splotches of colors. I want those cards to be cheerful and, uh, you know, a little bit artsy. So I'm going with the flow. I'm just stamping my colors. And later on, I will add a little bit uh, of uh, splashes from my brush. So I will ramble for a minute about the store again. Uh, I will link it down so you can check it out because they have really amazing quality rubber stamps, really original designs. They have uh, cute, they have serious one, they have steampunky one. They, they cover it all, including really weird and quirky designs. So whatever makes you fancy, you will find something really cool there. there they are all made in Germany because uh, it's a German store. I live in Berlin. So if you are in Germany, if you are in the Berlin and you are looking for the crafty place to visit, Stempelbar is this place that you want to go. Um, 
So I trimmed out um, my backgrounds and I rearranged them a little bit. That's why the, the stains do not flow so well. I was trying to save the parts of the stains that I liked the most. And I'm just sticking them on regular card bases. And all my cards are in a six size so it's around 10 to 15 centimeters i have no idea how much is that in inches um, but they are slightly bigger than standard us cards i love to frame stuff so i'm just adding black pen detail all around inside and out because i decorated insides as well to bring back a little bit more contrast and add this nice edge to my design, I added some black splashes with uh, 30 knots black acrylic ink and I arranged my tools in the middle uh, of all my cards and, and I really like that each one is different but they all look like set and to finish off the fronts I use 13 odd sentiments from my latest collection and they will be linked down below as well. Uh, I added a little bit of sparkle and a little bit of detail and I made also seventh card it's not in the picture, it was the one that I was making aside and I left it in the store. So if you visit them, you can find my card over there. I embellish all the insides with uh, some stickers with friendship sentiments and one crayon stamp made with distress. I just went through uh, all a distress rainbow and then I added some nougat drops and crystals and seconds and I was trying to keep all my blue embellishments in the blue areas, all the yellow one in the yellow areas. It looks really cool. And actually, if you will not count the time that I spent coloring those tools, because coloring takes me so much time, it was super fast and easy to make. A little bit of a Nuvo shiny pen to, you know, just for a little oomph and you cannot never have too much glitter so glitter pen yes please okay so that's all that's how they uh, look like here you can see one example they are quite flat and dimensional still I really like this clean simple and colorful look and that's all for today see you really soon uh thank you for all the messages that i get i'm fine i just have been really busy but i'm coming back and have a nice and creative day and see you really really soon bye